Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by RC Experts Horizon Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Today, we're going to walk through the steps you need to take to adjust the endpoints on your two speed on your SCX6 platform. So, before we get started, we need a few items. You'll need a battery to the power of the system, your DX3 transmitter, so we can set the endpoints on your shift servo. Now, I'll show you how to do it. First thing we'll do is put the transmitter in auxiliary setup mode. To do so, hold the steering wheel to the right, full brake, hold the bind button down, power the transmitter on. You'll see a purple light flash to let you know you're in setup mode for auxiliary setup. You're going to hit the A button to let you know you want multi-switch function. Okay, you're there. Go ahead and power on the truck. Once you have the truck powered on, now you're going to set your position. You're going to have two positions, one for low and one for high. The first one you're going to set is for low speed. So you use the uh, steering rate adjuster knob to actually set that position. Let's get that set. You're going to want it all the way in. And when you're doing so, you want to rock the truck a little bit back and forth to make sure it's engaged. Once it's engaged, go ahead and set it by hitting the bind button. Now we're going to set position two, which is your high speed. Again, once you get to the point where it's set, rock it back and forth to make sure it is engaged. We're good to go. Go ahead and hit your bind button again to save it. Now you have both settings saved, low and high speed. Go ahead and turn your transmitter off. It'll save all your settings. Go ahead and power everything back on. Once you have the transmitter turned back on, just make sure everything's set up correct. The starting position would be in low speed, so make sure that is low speed, and it is. Now your position two is your high speed, so go ahead and hit your two position switch. It's set for high speed, it stays there. Now hit it again for low speed. There you go. That's how quick and easy it is to set the endpoints in your two-speed transmission on your SCX6 platform. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and the whole videos from your RCX Horizon Hobby.